Some of the unknown questions in regards to breast cancer are why do certain individuals who have the exact same type of tumor, why do they develop a more aggressive disease that spreads throughout their body and develops into metastatic disease? Um, and when someone develops metastatic disease, there is no cure for it. And so what we are trying to understand is how the bacteria that inhabit our bodies influence these breast tumors as they progress and make them more aggressive. The microbiome is a collection of microorganisms that inhabit our body and they inhabit the surfaces that are exposed to the outside world such as the mucosal surfaces or sometimes they're called the barrier surfaces and traditionally they're thought that these microbes are protective um, they serve a first line of defense against invading pathogens. And in our GI tract, um, they serve to metabolize a lot of the food that we eat. But what's becoming really appreciated now is that they're having this really important role in influencing um, our immune system and these other types of diseases that are not necessarily occurring within these surfaces. Where I'm very excited about is their role in cancer because it's becoming very well appreciated that they have this profound influence on the ability of the immune system to recognize and destroy tumors, not only during the progression of cancer, but also when the cancers are being treated with certain immune therapies. And what we're finding is when these bacteria are in an unhealthy or an unbalanced state, they can cause the tumors to become more aggressive and more metastatic. In the context of cancer, there has been many associations with obesity, for example, and breast cancer. And during obesity, the gut bacteria are really in an unbalanced state, presumably due to the consumption of very processed foods or foods that are high in fats and sugars. So we're really trying to identify the mechanisms involved there so that we can either find new targets to um, prevent the breast cancer from becoming so aggressive or to identify certain types of biomarkers which may predict why certain individuals develop these more aggressive outcomes. One application of our research in the future could be trying to identify certain nutritive interventions that we could eat, for example, and potentially these bacteria will break down these food products and release these certain metabolic products that have better ability to control the immune system. And this may be beneficial in breast cancer. We believe by keeping the commensal bacteria in a really healthy or balanced state that in the context of breast cancer that could actually be more protective and it could help to prevent or even eliminate altogether this progression to a more disseminated or metastatic disease.